Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to be talking about two plugins for Obsidian that can help you with basic task management. They are the task plugin and the checklist plugin. Let's jump right in. So the task plugin can be installed via settings, community plugins, browse, and search for task. After you install it, enable it and click settings. And uh, you can set up a global filter. The GitHub page will also recommend some hotkey settings. I'll link that down below in the description. So down here in task, I've set my global task filter to hashtag task, and we're gonna show adding a task and then also look at some of the queries. I can add a task in two ways. First, I can add a dash for a bullet point, press space, open a bracket, press space, and then after the in bracket, press space again, I'll get this checkbox. I can say new task name, hashtag, task and that's it. I can also press my key combination I've set up to bring up this box and add a task via the GUI. We'll say GUI task. I can then go in and add things like a priority, add a recurrence. So for example, if I wanted this to occur daily, I could say every day. That way it would pop up every day. I could add a due date, scheduled date, start date, and once I'm done, I can hit apply. You can tab through these fields, by the way. So now I have hashtag task and then GUI task, and then it's a medium priority. That's been added to my task list. So if I take a look at these queries, I've got three here. The first one is all my tasks, whether they're completed or not completed. You can see that is just triple back ticks and then task and then triple back ticks. There's no space between the back tick there and tasks. The not completed, one is very similar. It's just I added not done. And then the completed one is just the same thing, except it's done. So you'll notice here, for example, I, I check this GUI task off. It's gonna disappear from this immediately and go down here to our completed task. These update in real time. The cool thing about these is since they are just queries, you could theoretically do something like put these in your daily notes template. So you could have a list of your to-do task at the top of your daily notes every day. That could be really cool or that could be really helpful if you do have a list of daily tasks like, you know, connecting to the VPN, checking email, things like that, that you wanted to make sure you checked off each morning. So that could be a way you could do that. I believe there are options in the query language to actually show the recurring and, and things like that. So that could be something to really consider. You could really make sure that you had a specific query potentially to do that. This is something that is specific to task. I mean, there are other ways to query data. And so you could theoretically bring checkboxes into it, but this particular triple back ticks with task after it, that is specific to the task plugin. So without the plugin enabled, this would just look like this. In my opinion, these task queries are really useful. You can also do things like limit the folder or the files that these uh, queries look in. So it could be really a nice granular way to identify your task. The checklist plugin is the other one. There is a lot of similarity between these two, but we are gonna go through this one and then we'll talk about some of the differences. So go down here to settings and checklist. You can add multiple tags here, and then you can also show completed or not, and then you can group a task by page or tag. The other nice thing here is you can include or exclude specific files depending on what you're needing to do. So if you have some maybe task in a uh, template, Maybe you don't want those included necessarily. Maybe you didn't exclude a template folder. You'll actually see this over here on the right. You'll have a new area in your panel. That's this to-do list pane. It's just a little check mark. And you'll see the pages here that I have task on. I'll go in here to task and we'll look at this particular setup. So here you'll notice these are these are exactly the same. This page is a little special. Since I have the tag here at the top, each of these tasks is assigned with that tag. So therefore, any tasks that I create on this page will be showing up in my list. Don't worry about these other tags, they're not important. So if I come in here and I say task one, and I check that off, it will disappear from here. If I go down here and I check this one off, it'll also disappear from here. That's a quick way just to kind of, these do kind of update live. They aren't quite as quick as maybe the task queries, but they do update as long as you have that auto refresh on. The concern I kind of have here is that if you have a lot of tasks, this could get really crowded. So I'm that's a concern that I have, especially if you wanna have completed tasks as well. 
So some of the key differences between these, very similar overall in basic functionality, but the checklist will allow you to add multiple tags and you have this pane on the right. The task plugin, you can only have one tag, but you do have that form to enter task and you have that query system that I think gives you a lot more flexibility than this pane. It really kind of depends on which one you're looking to do. If you're looking for the ability to add multiple tags into your task, maybe you're tracking them by a project and you don't want to always have to add like hashtag task or something like that to them, then maybe the checklist plugin is a better option for you. But these are best for extending that core task checkbox functionality that Obsidian has. The ability to simply, you know, add a dash and then open your bracket, close your bracket and press space with a space in the middle to get the checkbox. Ultimately, that's, you know, pretty standard functionality in, uh, in Obsidian. And so this kind of just extends that. The other nice thing about it extending that is you can actually then start using your checkboxes for things beyond just tasks. Maybe you wanted to have a checkbox for a selection. So like maybe you had a list of three items and you wanted to check off which one ever, whichever one you picked. You could do that and not have these be added to your task if you didn't tag them with the appropriate tag. But ultimately, these two plugins are best if you're looking to place various tasks throughout your notes using a query or using a pane to find them. It really just depends on what you're looking to do, but these are ultimately really good for just basic task management. There are some limitations. I don't think these are going to be as good on something where you're really trying to iterate through tasks. Like if you have a lot of different tasks that you're looking to do that are very similar on various projects, these plugins may not be the best option. If you're needing to have more than to do and done, then again, these may not be the best option because that's really your only two status options. But that is it for today. Our next video, we're going to take a look at the Kanban plugin, which is going to be a lot more in depth. And we're going to talk about some fancy things that I'm trying to do with that. Thank you everyone and have a great day.